You look so handsome. You are perfect. We're finally here. It's been a long road. This is by far the best day of my life. I'm so honored and blessed to be marrying my best friend today. I know I haven't always deserved you or been the best partner, but I promise from today forward to love you and cherish you the way God intended. There was a time where I was at my lowest, completely lost, and I asked God for help, and he sent me an angel to save my life, and that's you. My love, in just a couple of hours, we'll finally be husband and wife. I knew from the beginning that we were meant to be together forever. God put you in my life just when I needed you the most. Being with you brings so much joy, happiness, and laughter to my life. I saw something beautiful in you that you couldn't quite see in yourself. There are not enough words to explain just how much I love you, but I promise to continue to show you every single day. I can't wait to see what else life has in store for us. Here's to the first day of the rest of our lives. I love you. It has your dad's ashes in it. He would be so proud of you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here today to witness the marriage of Aaron and Samantha. It's a celebration of love, a celebration of commitment, a promise, a celebration of families joining, friends gathering, and their circle widening. Each one of you has been very important in their lives. They also wish to acknowledge family and friends that are no longer with us physically, but whose gifts of love and friendship over the years will always be cherished and remembered. So I get to tell one story, and this is the story as I understand it, when I asked them how they started this little love they have. They went to high school together. They didn't really know each other. They ran in different social circles, but they didn't know of each other. Many years later, through a little bit of luck and some social media stalking, Aaron didn't just slide into her DMs. He busted in there like the Kool-Aid man <laughs> and somehow convinced Sam to go out with him. And off they went on their first date. According to Sam, she saw something in Aaron right away that spoke to her. And she said, even though he was going through a rough time, she saw a good man in Aaron and knew that he would become that man, which he clearly has. Aaron tells me he fell in love with Sam that night. Sam, the love of my life, my partner, my best friend, you're the most amazing, genuine, authentic person I've ever had the honor of getting to know. I love that you are so kind, generous, and fiercely loyal to everyone you know. You are the best father to Austin. Together, we are raising an energetic, kind, <laughs> loving little boy. The way your son looks at you and lights up when he sees you makes my life feel full. I am the luckiest woman in the world to call you my husband, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. In the presence of this good company, by the power of your love and the grace of God, you now recognize you as husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. Sam and I met 10 years ago. I was 17 years old. 
and my first memory of Sam was that she was absolutely beautiful. It took me a while to win her over, but once I did, we really became inseparable. I met Aaron uh, in recovery at Fitz, and I related with him. I really saw some of the stuff that he was doing and that I did myself. I was always unsure of Sam's boyfriends, and admittedly, when I first met Aaron, I was absolutely not sold. I thought that he would be <laughs> just like the rest of them. But just like I grew on Sam, Aaron also grew on me. And I just like his heart. He's got a big heart. He really wants to be the man he wants to be. He is the man he wants to be. I know I can count on him like family, but most importantly, I know that he is going to be there as the loyal husband and father that my best friend deserves for life. I love you. Cheers to the happy couple.